Hey everyone, Avery Pilot here. Today we're going to be looking at something from Funko. This is a Funko Snaps, Five Nights at Freddy's. And it's Golden Freddy with Stage, playset with vinyl figure. So let's see. Uh, pretty cool. I didn't think I was going to pick these up. Uh, I really had no interest in getting any of these Snap things. But, I happened to see it at Walmart. And they had three of them. And I'm glad I picked it up actually, because that was uh, like... Four days ago, I got this. I went back today, and they have none. But this was the only one they had. It was just a Golden Freddy with stage. They didn't have any of the other ones. So, I don't know if I'm going to get more or not. This might just be it. Oh, a little sticker here. That Freddy there, that's just a sticker. I thought it was uh, actually part of it, but now I'm looking closer. Alright, so, uh, yeah. The box includes two face pieces, one torso, one bottom, one accessory, one head, two tables, four chairs, and one playset base. Cool. Very cool. So there's 12 pieces total. And on this side, we can see all the other things they have. Let's see. They have a bunch of two packs, some singles, and another playset. So for two packs, we have Springtrap and Freddy. I might get that just because it has a Springtrap and Freddy. That's cool. Got Toy Bonnie and Baby, Foxy, Bonnie, and then Chica with Storage Room. Maybe I will get them all. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, and this side just shows pretty much what the front shows. Just at a different angle. And then here on the back. Let's see. Tables and chairs can be moved and customized. Combined with other Five Nights at Freddy play sets or carrying case. Wait, there's a carrying case? Hmm. All right, so it has two tables with hats and three chairs. And then let's see, you can combine them. So the Chica with storage room with the Freddy, yeah, right next to each other. There you go. Pretty cool. I still don't know. I'm still up in the air if I'm going to get more of these. But uh, why don't we open it up and take a closer look. All right. So first thing we can look at now that it's all open is the uh, actual playset itself, which this is a lot nicer than what I thought it was going to be. For one, it's really good size. It's like, you know, it's the actual size of the box. It was in there. It was nice and tight coming out. That's what she said. But the details on this were much better than what I thought it was going to be. I thought the background here was going to be just a cardboard or painted on, something like that. But no, it's actually detailed. And like, if you look at it like this, you can see how the clouds aren't flat against it. They're like separate pieces or, well, made to be raised. And the bricks have that nice individual line in between all of them. And the bricks themselves have a nice texture to them to make it look like real bricks. Don't know how well you're really going to be able to see that though. And you got the security camera up here. Now I do wish that the security camera could swivel. I think that would be pretty cool. And you got two... Uh, subwoofers or whatever those are nice and detailed I like the stage it has a couple pretend lights right there now what would have been really cool is if you could have put batteries in this to make those light up and maybe even have like a little red light on the camera like right here at the top you know just to give it a little something you know, a little extra extra that would have been nice but, for what this is, very cool. Now, if you look on the sides, you see this here and that there. Now, on the other side, looks different. Because if you had the other playset, these would just pop into here. Now, I really hope they make another one. Uh, well, besides the one that has Chica, but one that maybe the security office. I think that would be pretty cool to have. Now, this thing did come with a lot of accessories. Well, not really a lot, but it came with accessories. So, it did come with three of these chairs. Really nice looking. And then it has two tables. Now, they're different. They're not the same exact tables. So, here you see red, or green, red, blue. And the blue one is tipped over. Nice plastic. Not going to bend or anything and it looks like you could probably pull the hats off so it looks like they're just attached with like a little tab underneath 
that pushes in. But nah, I'm not gonna bother. And this one you can see it's red, green, blue, but the blue is not tipped over. And I like the tables how it has the uh, the tablecloth there with the little triangles all over it. You just put this on however you want. Move some chairs around. Now, one thing that, I don't know, I'm kind of torn on is I kind of wish there was, like, peg holes for the table and chairs to go on so they just don't freely move around. And they could have added, like, a bunch of different peg holes so you can put them in different spots or something. But it's okay, I guess. I mean, if this is, like, something you're just going to put on a shelf or what have you, then I guess it's not a big problem, but... If it's somewhere where it can get bumped around, these pieces will move and they slide around quite easy. But, for the main attraction to this would be Golden Freddy. And, just like how it's uh, part of the Snaps line, everything that can be put on and off, Snaps. So the head, torso. Now the face doesn't make a sap, Snap sound. That just goes on, has a little peg there. That's cool. You can see like the endoskeleton underneath. Now, what would have been even cooler, because you can see the endoskeleton here, but you can see where there should be the blank space if they painted that black instead of leaving it all one color. And yeah, so he has the mean face. And it just goes on nice and easy, but the face does kind of move a little bit. And then you have the happy face. And of course, microphone for Freddy, and it just slides right in the hand. Now with the arms, they have a little ball joint, so not only can they rotate around, you can kind of move them up and down too. Or side to side, or whatever you want to call that. And then to put it all together, to snap the pieces. Oh, I love that sound. Slide the microphone. And there. Although he wouldn't really be on the stage, be sitting down somewhere, not standing. Really weird how Golden Freddy is in a standing position. They really, they should have made him into a, a sitting one. Because Golden Freddy doesn't stand. He doesn't even have an endoskeleton inside him. Although, you know, if you take the face off, it shows you the endoskeleton. Am I right about that? Golden Freddy doesn't have an endoskeleton, does he? I could have sworn he doesn't. That's why he's always slumped over. Because if he had the endoskeleton, he is possessed by two different souls, so he should be able to move around with an endo. Nah, I don't know. But I... Looking at it more and more, I'm really just falling in love with it. And I like the artistic styling they did for, like, the hat. It's not just a normal top hat. It's curved. I really do like that. A little bit of a, a cute appeal to it. So, the more I look at it, the more I figure I am going to have to get all of them now. I'm just going to have to. I need to get Chica with the storage room. Although, you would think the storage room would have came with Bonnie. Because Chica goes on the other side of the map towards the chicken. Or, towards the kitchen. And Bonnie's the one that goes into the storage room. At least I'm 95% sure on that. I could be wrong. But then... Why is there a Toy Bonnie with a baby? Shouldn't it be like Toy Bonnie, Toy Freddy, or Toy Chica, or Mangle? It's just kind of weird that they put baby in there. Springtrap is okay, because I mean, who doesn't like Springtrap? But, uh, I really like this thing. I, I think it's really cool. Of course, I have to find a shelf to put this on. I have so many shelves covered with so many different other things that I have, like DC figures, Marvel figures. I got a whole freaking bookcases full of just the FNAF figures. I got Star Wars figures. I got a little bit of everything. Whole bookcases full of He-Man and from Origins and classics and... The the Netflix CGI and the 
Masterverse line. I got everything. Damn. And now I'm also getting into Transformers, which that's a whole other thing, which I'm confused about. But yeah, so, like I said, I'm going to have to get the rest of them off Amazon, because Walmart only had this one set. They had three of them, and four days later, they're gone. And they don't have any of the figures. Alright, so that's just been my review of Funko Snap's Golden Freddy with Stage. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And you know, as always, you all have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.